Well, COVID-19 highlighted issues small meat processors have faced for a number of years. In an effort to address these challenges, the University of Nebraska-Lincoln has announced plans for the small meat processing plant of the future. Associate Professor of Meat Science Gary Sullivan joins us now with the latest on this program. And Gary, thanks for your time here this morning. Can you give us a little overview of this facility? the invitation. Uh, we're really excited about the opportunity coming up with the meat plan of the future. The University of Nebraska has a long-standing tradition of hit and a history of serving the land-grant mission of teaching research and extension for our state and beyond. The meat plan of the future provides the opportunity to really uh, help support and strengthen the meat industry both locally and regionally um, with the expansion and the uh, renovation of our existing facility, we do have the opportunity to increase workforce development and training. We also look at a strong opportunity to help facilitate the small livestock producer and entrepreneur who wants to enter into the direct marketing before we can connect them with the other small processors throughout the state. In addition, we look forward to providing a flexibility of training to really provide that skilled labor across the the, the differences in, in processing plants and sizes and scope. We also look forward to continuing the strength in the meat science extension programming that we have provided. Uh, Gary, you mentioned the workforce and like many industries, small meat processors are definitely facing workforce shortages. How will the small plant of the future help address those? One challenge with the meat industry is most people are unaware of the opportunities and really well-paying careers that are associated with it. And so one of the things we want to do is help promote those opportunities that are out there and provide a diversity of training opportunities that spans from a non-discrete degree seeking students to through all those that we have uh, traditionally served through bachelor's and graduate degrees. And so the meat plan of the future has the opportunity to really provide that immersive training and provide that skilled labor that is needed by the industry. And what is the timeline for this project? Yeah, so for the timeline, we had a, a good meeting last month that, with the Nebraska Association of Meat Processors at their annual convention. And they, we got really strong feedback about the partnerships that we can form in increasing both the training and also the placement of it. And also look at the small processors to help promote the opportunities in the industry itself. And so we look at some of those training programs to really get going over the next six months or so to six to 12 months. As far as renovations and more extensive programming, they will be taking place over the next couple of years. But it's really an exciting time here at University of Nebraska and, and the meat industry as a whole. Gary, you mentioned you guys are getting started here. What has been the feedback on the program so far? So, you know, they, they look forward to the partnership that we can form and really help fill that skilled labor need that they have. They look for opportunities to grow and we look at them as a partner and we are here to serve them. We yeah. are the People's University. Well, wonderful. Well, thank you very much for joining us this morning. University of Nebraska Lincoln Associate Professor of Meat Science Gary Sullivan connecting with us this morning. You can go online to umnl.edu for more information.